Hello and welcome back to my channel. Wanted to come on and make a quick video uh, just to talk about a little bit more about planning, how I plan for my meals during the week, and also to touch on the subject of budgeting, which I don't believe that I've uh, mentioned anything about how I manage to keep things uh, within a reasonable budget. Now, I shop for myself, uh, just for myself alone, and usually when I go shopping, I'm looking for six to seven days worth of produce and other items. What I have here is a document that I keep on my computer at work and also on a flash drive. I make a list of uh, things that I'm always going to eat and then I will just type in uh, things that lately I've had a taste for, things that I have been buying uh, and obviously as that changes I just uh, erase them and, and put in new items. Of course the shopping list is nothing new. People have been making grocery lists forever. But to be honest, when I first became a high raw vegan, I was just going to the grocery store, getting a cart and just winging it. And it would take me hours really just to shop for produce. So uh, I went back to the old fashioned way that people used to do of making a shopping list. These items at the top here, bananas, apples, oranges, lemon, ginger, spinach, and kale. Those are things that I'm gonna buy every time I go to the grocery store because I'm, I'm gonna eat those things every week. And if that's all that I could buy, that would be enough. I would be okay with that. Uh, now, these items uh, beyond that are things that lately I've had a taste for or I've been eating and as I say that those things change uh, for example I actually haven't had bok choy uh, in a little while and I thought you know I I have a taste for that so I went ahead and typed it in the list I leave a few spaces empty uh, because every week I like to try a new fruit a new vegetable or a fruit or vegetable that I just haven't had in a really long time I've tried most fruits, but there are still quite a few vegetables that I haven't had. So if I'm watching one of your videos and you're eating something that I haven't had in a long time or I've never had before, I might go ahead and write that in. Frozen items. What I've discovered um, is that there are some fruits that when I buy them, I don't eat them in time and they go bad. Those will end up on my frozen list. These are things that for some reason I just don't eat them fast enough. However, I love the way that they taste in a smoothie or a juice. So uh, these are possible items that I might be uh, picking up with this grocery run. Um, we'll just see. I'll Usually on Friday mornings or Friday evenings, I'll just go through the, my kitchen and see what I have and then I mark in what I need. Uh, the salad beans, those are the boxed uh, carton beans that Whole Foods carries. Uh, I, I like to uh, strain those, put them in the refrigerator and then I'll just put a few on a salad um, sometimes uh, in the evenings. Olives, um, those are my guilty pleasure so whatever don't judge me they're just olives sea salt that's something I put I typed on the list today I haven't had sea salt um, I haven't had to buy sea salt in a long time but I'm almost out I get the pink Himalayan sea salt and it lasts for a really long time you really only need a little bit of that to um, to season your food couple of, of just miscellaneous items vinegar and baking soda those are products I use to uh, make cleaning products for around the house and I knew that I was just about out of those things so I typed them on the list paper towels tissue and cat food and cat litter for my kitty uh, I want to say that I am looking for organic and non-GMO items when I go to the grocery store. 
that's just what I'm looking to buy. I am not looking to buy conventional products unless I just absolutely have to, like bananas, for instance. If all of the organic bananas are just bright green, I won't bring those home. I will go ahead and get the conventional. Um, the frozen things, the same thing, it's got to be organic and non-GMO. I understand that not everyone is going to be able to buy all organic food. It is a little bit more expensive. And if you are trying to buy for two or three or more people, it's, it's, it is going to be a little bit more expensive than just regular uh, food products. You know, there have been times in my life when I could afford bread and peanut butter. And that's what I ate. I ate bread and peanut butter. So, um, I, I lived through it. So if I, if there were a situation where I couldn't afford to buy the organic and the non-GMO produce, I would buy the conventional and I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. And I'm sure that I would live through it. Now, as I said before, when I first became a high raw vegan, I was just going to the grocery store and winging it. Now I make my list and I can shop really fast. I shop at Whole Foods. I'll shop at my local grocery store. And then sometimes I'll go to my uh, local co-op. Now the farmer's markets, uh, where I live just started either this weekend or some of them will start in June so right now I'm not shopping at farmers markets some of you live where you can just walk outside and there's farmers markets there that's awesome where I live it's not so much that way but um, I will factor in the farmers market into my list uh, as that season comes upon us as far as budgeting, when I started making the list, I started to notice that I could actually plan how much I wanted to spend on my groceries. Whereas when I was just going to the store with no list, every week there was a, a different amount that I was spending. I mean, there I would spend from $105 a week to $195 a week and that's a pretty big difference right now I'm right around $115 a week for my groceries and you know I don't know if that's a lot or not but that's within reason for me and um, I'm okay with that that gives me some wiggle room to be able to save money for other things that I want to do so uh, this is the the blank list and then I'll just show you um, what I I've actually been to the store today and this is what ended up um, you know I marked in the amount that, of those things that I needed and as I purchased them I crossed them out and then things I decided that I didn't want at all I just um, marked it out so if you're not using a grocery list and you notice that your budget kind of goes haywire, kind of goes up and down, or also that you're spending a whole lot of time in the grocery store when you could be out having fun, um, consider typing a list. So I hope that helps someone. Uh, take care, and I'll be back with more videos. Thanks.